Hey page turners, welcome back to Longbox Weekly Comic Book Review. This is where I talk about the books I love, hate, buy, and leave on the shelf. Love it or hate it or buy it, baby, leave it on the shelf. Love it or hate it or buy it, baby, leave it on the shelf. again boys and girls with the most important part of the show that's supporting independent artists so if you've got a book that you'd like to send my way to get an honest review definitely do so and I'll put it on the show if you're just an independent artist and you'd like to get some of your artwork out there I got some homework for you draw me as a superhero or a supervillain doing something comical working in a comic shop I trust you guys you guys have been ultra creative thank you so very much for all the submissions you guys have been sending in first up we have American Bloodlust number two from Decayed Minds Comics a while ago I did an interview with Decayed Minds so I highly suggest you guys checking that out I also reviewed issue number one of this book, and I gotta say, issue number two was spot on with where it should be. This issue was awesome. All around, the artwork, the coloring, the character development, the plot, everything. Really enjoyed this, guys. Thank you guys for sending this in. If you guys would like to check out more from Decayed Minds Comics or get your own copy of American Bloodlust, I've included links in the description below. Thank you guys again. Next up, we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 30. Now, if you grew up with the Ninja Turtles like I did, this book is for you. Everything that takes place in this book pretty sad but I gotta say that it really kind of it builds up the mythos of what the Ninja Turtles are the characters that are in this book aren't the characters that you're common with in the TV show or even the older stuff this book really really signifies every single thing that the Ninja Turtles really are and what you want them to be I highly recommend you checking out Ninja Turtles number 30 up next we have saga number 18 now if you're looking for a book on the shelf that you just can fall in love with this is the book for you I have to say in this issue I feel a little bad for Honest Cat because he really didn't deserve that but I gotta say that in the next couple of issues when that comes back around this is gonna be the book that's gonna be on everybody's poll list next up is Superior Spider-Man number 26 now this book might be ending in April and they really haven't talked about it yet but Amazing Spider-Man is starting back up and I feel like a lot of the story the plot points that they've been putting in this book they just really haven't flushed out a lot of it's been put on the back burner and I kind of feel like this story, this book has a lot more stories to tell and I don't think that they're done with them. This issue, however, I just felt like it was kind of a cop-out. We've really been wanting the Green Goblin storyline and it's just, it was kind of a taste, but not what we were expecting. Up next we have Night of Living Deadpool number two. Now before I get into this review there's only one way to review a Deadpool book and that's with the Deadpool mask on. Now the first issue I really enjoyed and I felt like issue number two was gonna really hash out the storyline but I gotta say that there's really no development here. There's no plot. It's just Deadpool jokes, chimichanga, hacking and slashing, and some zombies here and there. So I gotta say that this is probably gonna be one that you're gonna enjoy if you're a Deadpool fan, but if you're looking for a good storyline, this might be one you wanna pass on. Here we are with Super Dinosaur 21. Now, right off the bat, this book would make an awesome cartoon that I could see on just about any channel. Kids really enjoy this book. It's a book that me and my son really, we sit down, we read it together, and we just laugh about it and talk about it. This is a book that I would recommend for you to come into the shop and pick up for your kids, seeing how there's minimal violence, and if there is, it's pretty comical and slapstick. The book revolves around a kid. He has a pet dinosaur. He's got little tiny arms, so he can't really do too much. So the kid, being a genius, builds him all these big old mech robot arms and all this stuff. Just really all around fun read. I highly suggest you guys checking this one out. Holy shit guys, he doesn't have a hat on. Up next guys, we have Damien Son of Batman number four. Now I know I said I wasn't going to pick this issue up, but you know what? Old habits die hard. I really feel like this book was nothing other than a reason just to put Joker in another book. And it wasn't even the real Joker. Well, until the end. So you know what DC, if you guys can just end everything with Joker and think that that's cool, I'm going to end this episode with Joker. So, with that being said, thank you guys for checking out the show. <laughs> Love it or hate it or buy it, baby, baby, leave it on the shelf. Love it or hate it or buy it, baby, baby, leave it on the shelf.